What's good, y'all? I'm in the last couple of days of visiting my parents, and then I'm going to be back home in my same old park and my same old apartment. You know, it's really cool. I had a great time while I was here. You know, but last night I was having a conversation with one of my friends, and, like, she's, like, in the part of her spiritual journey where she's, like, you know, unknowingly walking into the shadow work section. Now, don't get me wrong. Shadow work is not just a one-time thing. Like, you just sit here for a month straight and just do shadow work, shadow work, shadow work. The more you progress, the more you're going to need to know what you need to go back and work on. You understand? Like, you'll go and learn all this light, light, love, happiness, tranquility, all that type of stuff. But then you'll be like, but there's something off here. I feel like I'm missing something. That's when you have to go back. That's like how I said energy moves in a spiral. Well, there's a point where you always have to return. You have to return a little bit, but you always go forward. You return a little bit and you go forward again. That's where shadow work is always going to be there. I do feel like one day, like we won't have any shadow work to do. But the shadow work is so important because this is what happens when you wake up. You know, when you wake up and you realize how much crap you've been accumulating your entire lives before you were awakened, before you were aware of how your emotions have an impact on your life. All right. You know, one of the things I really do think about is I really think that no matter like where you are spiritually, what your avenue is, whatever you do, if you have progressed far into your spirituality, is your spirituality journey, uh, you found your avenue that you want to delve deep into. I feel like at some point, I feel like we can all agree that spiritual or the shadow work is the most important part because shadow work is the you you know like the ball and chain like in the old cartoons i've been having like a cartoon brain lately but like you know like the ball and chain that the prisoners were wearing cartoons like that's when you start to chip away at the at the shackles and you start to free yourself so you can fly the higher highs you know a lot of people when they're faced with shadow work they are scared of it they feel like they're not ready for it and the thing is that just shows you how much you need to do it because what does that mean when you say you are not ready you are saying i am not ready you are saying, I am scared. So you are giving power to your unpreparedness. You are giving power to your fear. This is why it's very important. That's like when you have these feelings, it's like, wait, that's why I need to do this. I still have this fear. I'm still setting myself. I'm still setting limitations on myself. I'm still setting limitations on my own mind. So when it comes to time for you to face your traumas, you know, if somebody touched you as a kid, if someone hurt you emotionally, you know, if somebody, you know, like tricked you, if someone lied to you, if someone cheated you, if someone and you, you have to go back and face these emotions, whatever they are. You know, for me, for example, like mine was like I had to go back and face my traumas of like what made me feel like I wasn't good enough. And for me, that was my big one. You know, I didn't want to go back to that time because I moved on. I learned from that. You know, all my times from college, you know, that's that's the one thing I have to do. I have to go back to that campus one day. You know, I have to go back there and just walk it and say, I conquered you. I beat you. Now we can leave. I don't care if I'm there for five minutes. I'm going to fly, drive all the way back there and just walk around there and be there. But I won. I'm going to get right back on that plane, get right back in my car and drive right back home. That's something I have to do. But even I'm not ready for that part yet. You see what I'm saying? I still have work to do. You understand? We all have work to do. Like I said, we're always going to come back to it. We're going to progress. Then you have to fall back a little bit. Progress fall back a little bit to keep on making sure that your foundation is strong you know you live in your house sometimes there's house inspections right you know they say oh this is my house nothing's changed but without routine inspections without like checking things out every once in a while without you doing the maintenance on your house it might be chipping away and falling apart and you go like, oh why didn't we ever see this because you have to go back at it you have to go back and look at yourself look back at your home look back at your temple which is our bodies you know your bodies your mind you have to go back and look at it with a new set of eyes with a new set of information you understand like the little I don't know what to call this but the, the siding or whatever let's just say like you know the first that's right there in your front of your face the siding okay cool you walk around your house you look at it, the siding looks good okay cool then you go back and you go you go learn about like the internal like the adhesives that's keeping or the staples or whatever oh well this brand of staple was gonna rust in five years I'm just throwing things out there this brand of staple is gonna rust in five years so you might want to check your siding and make sure all of them are actually like not just hanging on by a limb so then you go back with this new thing that you learned. You have to go back and look at that same sighting that you looked at before. That you said everything was okay. And now with this new set of information, but oh, that's what I need to go back and fix. You understand? So we can all agree that shadow work is probably the most important thing because it gets you out of your lower vibrations. Eventually, I do believe that there will be no more shadow work you have to do. But I could be wrong on that. You know, everyone might have their own take on that. But, you know, nevertheless, you got to do it. If you are scared of something, that means you just need to run headfirst into it. You understand? You know, don't run away from anything. Life moves forward, so you have to. 
do the shadow work learn what you got to do there's different methods out there go find them if you want something that's going to force you into that show uh, that, that shadow work look in the moldavite moldavite is something that i talked about i have like a little i have a little blurb about it on my channel i don't i'm not too crystals i'm not too much into the crystals and stuff but go find you some moldavite some authentic genuine moldavite and start to learn how to work with it because it will make you work on your shadows you understand it like one of the things that people need to understand is like moldavite itself is a crystal or tektite whatever they want to call it and it's a very high vibration that wants you to be up there with it it's like think of your crystals like a friend all right and they want you to be there they want you to they want you to succeed but what happens though when they said like they're trying to help you and say yo you're not ready yet you're not you got to get rid of this it's going to try to lift your vibration up to it but for you to get to its level it requires you to do the shadow work it requires you to drop off the extra baggage so i have a few videos on my channel about the moldavite go check that out but nevertheless if you're not in the crystals cool go do your thing but go go deep go you know i'm i'm, I'm my brain's in two different places <laughs> but like go deep you understand and go learn about yourself go learn about the traumas if there's like a reason why you don't like crowds go explore why sometimes you'll find out that it's not the answer that you thought it was oh i'm just i just have social anxiety and blah 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 blah. you just find out that you're empathic and you can't handle too much energy without your type of protection but this is what the shadow work is going to expose to you all right so anyway uh, it's like i stuttered enough i rambled enough shadow work is important you know there's different methods out there go find your method go, go go talk in the mirror go talk to yourself go into meditation go get you some crystals check out the moldavite you know these are all things that i use to help me you know progress more and more and the further i go now i can e more easily identify the stuff i have to go back and work on it's a spiral but spirals move forward to the next one